diseases of rubber uh, now we will see the list of important diseases in rubber so my name is anand shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in rubber the first one is abnormal leaf fall which is caused by phytophthora palmivora and other species also uh, which is involved in uh, abnormal leaf fall that is the phytophthora nicotiana vat parasitica the next one is bud eye spot which is caused by dressalera heavy and then coronospora leaf spot coronospora cosicola powdery mildew which is caused by idm heavy and uh, pink disease which is caused by phenirrhocytes salmonicola and then brown root rot which is caused by foams noxious and anthracnose which is caused by glomerella cingulata and uh, last disease coltrotrichum leaf disease which is caused by coltrotrichum acutatum and coltrotrichum gliosporides so now we'll see in detail about uh, one by one so the first one is abnormal leaf spall which is caused by two species of uh, phytophthora that is phytophthora palmivora and the next one is phytophthora nicotiana where parasitica so the name itself indicates the leaf falls abnormally that's why it's called as abnormal leaf fall the leaf falls abnormally so here initially what will happen if you see the uh, rubber leaves in the leaves a uh, gray color spots can be appears initially the spots are enlarges uh, 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 the leaf symptom uh, i had not mentioned the leaf symptom if you see the leaf so initially gray color spots can be appears and the spots are enlarges and become irregular and circular so later stages what will happen they turn to brown in color sorry they turn to reddish in color so they turn to reddish in color and later stages they will fall off the most important symptom is if you see the fallen leaves or if you see the fallen uh, this uh, uh, what we, what we call fallen leaves so it it can gives like a carpet like appearance like this carpet like appearance we can see on the fallen area that is the most important symptom so in exams also we can uh, ask like this so carpet like appearance of falling of leaves can be observed on uh, fallen leaves that gives a carpet like appearance in uh, which disease that is abnormal leaf fall pet of the palmivora nicotiana parasitica so here uh, the, they also show dieback symptoms so what will happen in later stages uh, uh, the amount of uh, latex production or what we what we can call it as yield so the yield can be completely reduced due to this abnormal leaf fall and it's a very serious and very important disease in uh, uh, rubber production so coming to the management aspects of field sanitation is very very important and the most important one is uh, you better to stop uh, having the latex or uh, uh, tapping of latex uh, better to stop the tapping of uh, latex during monsoon season and uh, smearing and tearing of any surface or any uh, you know the plant if if, uh, if there is any wounds can be uh, 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 uh appears uh, better to uh, go with you know uh, application of bodo paste or something like that you before uh, uh, that i would uh, suggest you to take uh, care uh, uh, to avoid this you know uh, uh, damages if uh, there is any something like uh, tears and wears will happen so you go with uh, application of bodo paste so that that can uh, uh, help to uh, reduce the wound so the spraying of bodo paste one percent and along with uh, uh you can we can also go with copper oxychloride there are 2.0.2 uh, percent uh, can effectively control this disease so coming to the next one bud eye spot which is caused by dressal era heavy the name itself indicate the spots are look like a bud eye you can see this uh, if you see the symptom here the circular spots are can initially circular spots circular irregular we can see circular uh, irregular spots uh, can be seen along with the grayish uh, margin yes along with the grayish margin can be seen the borders are grayish margins so what will happen uh, due to this uh, uh, mostly this uh, disease we can observe in uh, nursery plants or young plants sorry not nursery i mean okay okay that nursery young plants itself indicates nursery plants right so in young plants we can see this uh, uh, disease so uh, later stages this might uh, covers the entire leaf we can see the entire leaf got covered and they look like to bud eye that's why it's called as a bud eye spot so coming to the management aspects so spraying of 1% uh, bodo mixture can be recommended coming to the next one coronospora leaf spot which is caused by coronospora cosicola so the major symptoms are if you see here uh, the affected leaves dry up right uh, the affected leaves uh, dry up and we can also see here a small uh, uh, brown color spots along with the yellow halo surrounded it right so initially the circular small spots uh, sorry circular small spots appears uh, th those are uh, maybe uh, brown or papery uh, and the yellow halo can surround uh, uh, on it yellow halo are surrounded by uh, brown spots surrounded by yellow halo here um, uh, dark brown spots also can be around sometimes what will happen this uh, uh, enlarges and papery uh, the convert completely uh, uh, enlarges and covers the entire leaf and papery uh, appearance or papery con uh, conversion of uh, leaf can be seen and uh, the, it look like a little bit shrinking and uh, later stages short hole symptoms also can be uh, 
appeared the most important is initially small brown color spots which is surrounded by yellow halo then the leaf slowly starts to convert into papery young leaves especially young leaves papery papery like appearance so the affected leaves in later stages dry up and they will fall down simply uh, so you can go with the spraying of uh, bodo mixture can manage the disease so coming to the powdery mildew the name itself indicates uh, powdery growth appears on the surface of leaf that is the which is caused by idm if you see the rubber leaves powdery growth can be seen powdery growth can be appears on the surface of leaf along with uh, this later they turned into purple black color we can see here we can clearly observe this a little bit black and purple black in color right so white color powdery growth along with the purple black appearance of leaves is the one of the major symptoms for the powdery mildew of uh, rubber so coming to the management aspect uh, so spraying of wettable sulfur 0.2% can effectively control this disease so coming to the next one is a pink disease which is caused by phenyrocheter salmoni color it is one of the important disease so mostly this uh, pink disease can affect old uh, plants or uh, how can i say that uh, uh, aged plants okay so here we can see this uh, gummy ooze out something like that right so gummy ooze out are uh, uh, affected portions like uh, a pink gummy substances can be produced from the stem regions so what will happen if you see this uh, due to this affection of uh, due to this uh, infection of fungus so uh, if you cut open uh, the bark or if you sorry what we can I say that scott called cells that can be easily brittled because of uh, infection of fungus where it can penetrate inside the bark and uh, it encircles the entire stem so so that we can also see the mycelial growth inside the stem and we can easily brittle it off because of the uh, severe infection of this uh, pink disease that is phenyrocheter salmoni color so latex production also can be coagulates and it slowly it starts to become dark we can see here right so latex production is completely stopped and uh, yield is come not only yield the plant will die so that uh, we can't expect any yield right so the next one is uh, management aspects so pink disease uh, can be uh, uh, protected by you know uh, uh, pasting of bodo mixture uh, like you know it can be entered through wounds right so that we can uh, uh, go with uh, bodo paste painting uh, i mean uh, bodo paste or painting tar can be affected the uh, uh, portion so that it even uh, uh, get it out of uh, infection right so the next one is the uh, brown root rot which is caused by foams noxious so the name itself indicates rotting of roots uh, so brown color rotting of roots so what actually will happen so the affected root become uh, rots or affected root become uh, uh, completely like you know uh, uh, a little bit uh, weakens so what we can call it as a rots so the affected portion become rots and entirely killed if we cut open the uh, uh, this stem so we can see the uh, uh, network of mycelium inside so that uh, the mass of mycelium can also be seen in soil and this uh, entire roots uh, entire root uh, ro uh, sorry entire uh, 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 root rods and the tap roots also can uh, lost the ability to uh, suck the water so that the entire plant can be killed in later stages so the coming to the management aspects removal and destruction of infected trees and along with application of lime at the rate of 2.5 tons per hectare and also go with uh, you know uh, doses of lime at the rate of 25 kg per dead tree uh, if there is any area i mean if the dead tree found better to apply with i mean go with uh, uh, 25 kg per dead tree if there is any uh, mycelium or if there is something found in the uh, soil that can destroy it so and then you can also go with the application of emison or iritan at the rate of 0.1 percent can check the disease so coming to the next one coltrotrichum leaf spot which is caused by coltrotrichum acutatum and coltrotrichum gliosporoids so here uh, mostly this uh, coltrotrichum leaf spots can be observed in uh, tender leaves or leaf uh, uh, rip regions so initially small spots will appear so whatever the disease you can take mostly small spots are drying of leaves or falling of leaves so so some peculiar symptoms might be there you we if you remember that that will be more than enough in exams also uh, everyone will expect that the peculiar symptoms are the important symptoms only so if you see here in the cold water complete spot the spots are initially small brown uh, uh, you know uh, small brown spots will appear initially uh, and later what will happen uh, this surrounded by a yellow halo the small brown spot which is surrounded by a yellow halo the small spots coalesces those small spots coalesces and they become uh, uh, very big spots and later says what will happen the plant completely dry up we can see here uh, tender leaves right we can tender leaves or leaf uh, 
a tip region so let us consider if it is a leaf tip uh, let me let me explain you let us consider if it is a leaf tip sorry if it is a leaf the leaf tip region or tender leaf leaf tip region can dry up we can see here right let leaf tip region dried here here also leaf tip region dried so drying of leaf tips are uh, one of the important uh, characteristics from here so let us test what will happen the infected plants crinkles the infected plants crinkles and become distorted and let us test what will happen they fall down so coming to the management aspects of spraying with the bodo mixture that are 1 point oh, sorry 1 percent or copper oxy chloride uh, 0.125 percent or uh, phytodon uh, 2.5 gram per liter of water or mango zip 0.25 percent that is diethyl or endophil m45 at the rate of 2.66 gram per liter or carbon dism 0.05 percent that is a best in 1 gram per liter of water at a 10 to 15 days interval can effectively control this disease so don't apply all the uh, you know things that's what i have mentioned here you better to apply one by one one by one so once you are applying some bodo mission next time you can go with copper oxy chloride at the next time you can go with mango zip bar next time you can go with carbon dism so that uh, uh, functional resistance that you can escape and we can effectively control the disease so coming to the rsr net uh, not only rsr net but exam point of view the most important disease that we had seen here is uh, abnormal leaf fall it is a very very important one and uh, uh, abnormal leaf fall is a important one and we can expect the causal organism but it's better for pamivana and then uh, Uh, one more uh, disease I had seen that uh, maybe causal organisms. They may we may expect the causal organisms and one more disease over there I actually forgot. Uh, Phenyrochidae salmonicol or something like that. So anyway, uh, better to remember the causal organisms, but the abnormal leaf fall is a very very important one. So this is all about uh, this is our rubber.